nine of the 10 House Republicans who voted for impeachment already have primary challengers. In this video, we're going to take a look at how pundits are already admitting that the 10 Republicans who voted for Trump's impeachment are set to lose their seats in 2022, how several of them had the gall to vote in favor of giving illegals amnesty the other day, and why it is that the Republicans had better rid themselves of all rhinos or face eventual political annihilation. You're not going to want to miss this. Greetings, everyone. Dr. Steve here with you. Great to be with you. As always, we're here to give you each and every single day conservative hope in the midst of these turbulent and trying times, helping you to think better so you can feel better and provide for you a patriot path to freedom. So make sure to smack that bell and subscribe button. Before we dive in here, make sure to click on the link below and head on over to my special website for my Patriot Food Supplies. We saw with the whole pandemic insanity, we cannot wait for an emergency to happen before we respond to one. And no one, no one makes preparing for an emergency more ridiculously easy and affordable than my Patriot Supply. Gang, they're simply the best. Their food kits last up to 25 years in storage. They include breakfast, lunches, and dinners. And best of all, if you act now, you can save $50 off a full four-week emergency food supply when you click on that link below to my special website. So do not wait. I've got my food supply. Make sure you get yours. Click on that link below or go to preparewithsteve.com and save $50 off your very own four-week emergency food supply today. All right, gang, let's dive right in here. Look, I think we're seeing a new application of what we call here on this channel, the fundamental law of the universe, get woke, go broke, right? <laughs> we generally think of this fundamental law of the universe in commercial terms, like what happened to Facebook and Twitter recently when they lost billions in market value after blocking President Trump. Or think of the NFL or the NBA, how their ratings crashed once they started kneeling during the national anthem and getting on board with the whole BLM movement and the like. But as it turns out, I think we could see this get woke, go broke universal law applied to politics as well. 538 is reporting that nine out of the 10 Republican representatives who voted to impeach President Trump are already facing primary challengers for the 2022 midterms. Let that hit you. Nine out of the 10. And this isn't just noise. This isn't style over substance. In eight of these 10 Republicans districts, President Trump won the 2020 election by at least three or four points. Most of them are solid red, where Trump won by over 14 points. In other words, it doesn't really matter which Republican candidate they run in the general election. That candidate is most likely going to win. It's as guaranteed as a Democrat winning in Detroit. These are solid red districts, and the constituents living there are realizing there's absolutely no reason on the planet for them to be sending rhinos, Mitt Romney-style rhinos to D.C. who are going to vote against the president that they adore and support. Now, obviously, the queen of the rhinos that the Republican grassroots wants defeated is Wyoming Representative Liz Cheney. Cheney has been absolutely unrepentant in her hatred of Trump and her vote to impeach him, thus demonstrating that she has more in common with Nancy Pelosi than she does with Trump. When she and House Minority Leader Kevin McCarthy were doing a press conference together a few weeks back, they were both asked whether President Trump should speak at CPAC event that was happening that weekend. McCarthy simply said, well, of course he should. What's the problem? But then Cheney, she steps up to the mic, and not only did she contradict McCarthy, but she had a few more of her own words where she said, well, that's up to CPAC. I've been clear in my views about President Trump and the extent to which following January 6th, I don't believe he should be playing any role in the future of the party or even the country. And so the obvious question when she makes remarks like this, what the hell's the difference between Cheney and Pelosi at this point? On the point of the single most popular presidential candidate among Republicans quite literally ever, on that point, what precisely is the difference between Cheney and Pelosi? And the answer, of course, is none. There's not a shred of difference between these two. What is said by one could easily be said by another, to which we then have to ask, what the heck is the point in voting Republican if Rhino Republicans are demonstrably no different than Democrats? Liz Cheney has more in common with the Democrats than she has with the deplorables. I love Mark Levin's response to Cheney's press conference a few weeks back. Liz Cheney is Mitt Romney 
in a dress. <laughs> I love it. I mean, it's so good because, you know, Liz Cheney is getting primaried, okay? She's getting primaried. She's already been uh, State Senator Anthony Bouchard. He has announced his campaign to unseat Cheney, and that should not be hard to do. The latest poll out on Cheney shows that only 13% of voters in Wyoming would reelect her. <laughs> 13%. And she's certainly not getting any support from the Wyoming GOP. Quite the contrary. Cheney was formally censured by the Wyoming Republican Party in retaliation for her vote to impeach Trump. As one person said, it was as if she gave all of us the finger. And as her press conference with Andrew McCarthy demonstrated, she continues to stick her middle finger up at the rest of us. So Liz Cheney looks like she's going to be leading that impeachment pack at 10 to defeat in 2022, which will be absolutely delicious to watch. It should also interest you to know that not only did Representatives Fred Upton of Michigan, David Villato of California, as well as Dan Newhouse of Washington, you're going to love this. Not only did they vote with the Democrats to impeach Trump, they also voted to give amnesty to 5 million illegal immigrants the other day. Isn't that just incredible? I mean, seriously, with Republicans like these, who needs Democrats? I mean, you vote for rhinos, gang, you're going to get Democrats. You vote for rhinos and you get Pelosi and Schumer. Now, again, the good news is that these guys are getting primaried, which is exactly what we need to do. Or as President Trump said at CPAC, get rid of them. Get rid of them all, right? <laughs> rhinos, rhinos should be an endangered species in the Republican Party, most especially in the House and in the governorships. There's simply no excuse anymore for us to vote for them. President Trump has exposed just how much they diverge from your typical rank-and-file Republican. They are more Democrat than deplorable. They are more Pelosi than Patriot. So the battle for the GOP continues, and this battle is absolutely essential if the GOP is to have any future. Now, before we get into that, if you are looking for an encouraging and hopeful alternative to all the fake news nonsense that's being spewed out there on a daily basis from the leftist likes of CNN and MSNBC and the New York Times, you're going to find no better antidote that's, than what's in the pages of my book, the return of Christendom. Now, do not take my word for it, gang. Just read through all the reviews on Amazon. There's over 260 of them. And you'll see how this book cuts through all the cynicism and all the despair that we so often feel living in this crazy leftist globalist world. In page after page, I give you all the data and the stats and indicators that show nothing less than a new conservative Christian majority emerging throughout the United States and Europe. And it's already transforming the world map into a more nationalist, populist, and traditionalist world. If you click on that link below right now, we are offering it for a limited time at a 50% discount. It's right half off. So don't wait. It is a limited time offer. Click on that link and get your book at a super discount today and arm yourself with the information you need to crush fake news once and for all. Now, the reason why the GOP needs to primary these rhinos to have any chance of having a viable political future is precisely because of the rise of populism, particularly on the political right. We were just talking about this last night with Sebastian Gorka, who did a live Q&A for Insiders members, which you can join by clicking on the link below. It was absolutely wonderful. But he noted that one of the most important lessons that the GOP has to get is precisely what the reason why Donald Trump was the first non-politician to be elected president ever in the history of our nation. Not since George Washington has a single president ever been elected who wasn't prior to his election, either a governor or a senator or a representative or a politician of some kind. Not once. And the question is very simple. Why? Why in 2016 did a majority of voters decide to vote for a candidate that had no prior political experience? And the answer is very simple. It's because there has never been such animosity between the people and the political class. The people, the majority of the citizens, no longer trust the elites who govern our nation according to their own values and interests, which are increasingly alienated from the values and interests of the people, right? We saw this. We saw this in microcosm with Hillary Clinton's campaign in 2016. If you went to her website, you would find her homepage with a button for African-American issues, a button for Latino issues, a button for women's issues, a button for LGBT issues. 
But was there a button for white working class issues? Of course not. And that's because the identity politics of the Democratic Party had grown increasingly alienated from the values and interests of their white working class blue collar base. And so that's why nearly 200 counties in Wisconsin, Iowa, Michigan, Pennsylvania, Minnesota that had previously voted for every single Democratic presidential candidate in every election since 1984 suddenly swung over and voted for Trump by sometimes by a 20 point margin. Now, if the Republicans get that, if they realize that the alienation between the people of political class is that intense so as to cause a massive swing vote like that. Then they'll get rid of the establishment Republicans and be a fully MAGA-centered America First Republican Party. If they don't, if they keep going with the Romneys and the Cheneys and the Sasses and the like, then the Republican Party, the Republican base will abandon them just like white-collar base abandoned the Democrats. And if that happens, say goodbye to the Republican Party and say hello to a new Patriot Party. Now, before you go, make sure to like this video, comment down below, subscribe to my channel, click on the link below and check out some of our awesome merch. And you definitely want to check out my latest video I just uploaded on how Marine Le Pen is rising and Francis Macron loses the left, how Italy is turning to the right, how the Dutch stay center right. You're not going to want to miss it. So make sure to click on the link and I'll see you over there. God bless.